Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here, working on a Carter YH1 barrel carburetor. And I'm going to show you how the accelerator pump circuit works. So if you're having a hesitation or a bog in your carburetor and, uh, and you're blaming on the accelerator pump circuit, then at least uh, with this video you'll know how it works. So you kind of know what to look for. Alright, so first of all, the accelerator pump diaphragm is uh, what's used on the YH like this and uh, fits in the housing right here when you put it together and then fits to the bottom of the float bowl down there and what happens is now this one this works if you're familiar with carburetors kind of backwards for most carburetors most carburetors when you hit the uh, gas pedal and the pump goes down it's forcing gas out the main discharge but uh, on these it's pull, pulled up to do that but at any rate, to get gas in here, this part here fills up with gas. This is the reservoir, and uh, the bottom of this is dry. Okay, no gas is down here. And what happens is when it's when it's pushed down, then the suction from the diaphragm pulls fuel in from the float bowl through this passageway right here. Okay, there's a check ball in here, and uh, I I don't I, I don't uh, suggest you take that apart unless you got corrosion or something uh, which is possible seeing how it sits at the bottom of the carburetor. Otherwise, I'd leave it alone. Just make sure it rattles good and uh, clean it real good out there. Blow it out, you know, and uh, clean it with a, the carb cleaner and all that. If you do take this out, you're going to have to replace this plug. I don't know what size it is offhand. You measure the inside diameter and get a plug that matches. Uh, we do have these uh, aluminum plugs uh, as an assortment. You might want to get one of those. There's quite a few different aluminum plugs on this carburetor. Anyway, so that, that's how the fuel gets in there. So then when it's pushed down, it fills up with fuel. And then when you hit the accelerator pump, uh, this accelerator diaphragm is going to pull up like that and pump the gas out through the main discharge. It's going to go out through here, and here's your main discharge here. And there's a check ball in there. There's a, uh, here's the check ball right there. It goes in the hole, and then there's a little plug on the top to keep it from uh, uh, falling out. And that's how the gas, that extra squirt of gas, will get into the carburetor. Now, that check ball is in there so that... Uh, it, when you're not accelerating, that, that a check ball will be seated and won't allow fuel, a vacuum from the carburetor to suck fuel through the uh, uh, accelerator pump discharge. And that's what that's for. It holds it from that. It only opens up when you there's pressure on it. The check ball lifts up and, and allows fuel out into the discharge. Uh, on the intake... Uh, where to go? Here it is. On the intake, same thing. That check ball's in there. Uh, so when you do, when this pumps up, and you're going to force uh, gas out the discharge, this check ball, the pressure from the uh, fuel, is going to seat that check ball in there and and uh, keep the fuel from just going right back to the uh, float ball. So. Uh, if you're having accelerator pump problems, you suspect the check ball. It may need they may need to be seated. Either one of them, you can take a, a brass drip punch and just tap on them lightly. That it doesn't take much, uh, just to make sure they get seated. Okay, so there's that, uh, and uh, we'll uh, put some fuel in this and and test it. That'll be our next thing here. Okay. Okay, we're going to test the accelerator pump diaphragm and make sure it's working, make sure the circuit's working. And when I put it a little, uh, some mineral spirits in there, just enough to uh, cover the uh, accelerator pump housing. And uh, as I've mentioned previously, this right here is where the intakes the fuel and it's sticking down in the float bowl there. And when you press down, now when you first put it in, you may have to pump it a couple times to make sure. But when you press down, that's when it sucks the fuel in. You let up, it's going to push fuel out. Now watch your discharge there, right through your discharge. So you know that's working. 
that's happening and that looks like it came out pretty good the next thing I would do is put the check ball back in the main discharge and uh, uh, actually uh, now uh, I don't have I don't have a uh, pointed screwdriver or anything uh, if you take your little brass drift punch and hold that check ball down jet not too hard and then pump your uh, solar pump and you shouldn't get hardly any at all uh, fuel coming through there if the check ball is sealing and you will get some uh, uh, a little bit of pressure on your pump here so the fuel can't get through is what I'm trying to say so uh, if it is then try uh, tapping on the check ball a little bit a couple of times just to get the seat doesn't take much uh, this metal is pretty malleable so uh, just a couple of gentle taps is all it takes now I got the check ball back in there uh, let me put the plug back in there Okay, so that's all together now. So we push it down, fill up the reservoir, and pull it up a couple times. <laughs> kind of hard to see when it's sideways like this. Okay, and what you want to look for. I'm just going to have to show it to you here. Let me. Uh, let me empty this here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So let's see if I'm going to be able to show you if you can see it. Really hard to see, but right down. Oh, you see this little brass? No secondaries. Um, right. I, I actually don't know any better that's making those. They're not required. They were strictly Get open, darn it. Okay. So right there is where your discharge comes out. You'll see fuel squirt out of there. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a real heavy stream, but it just kind of pumps it out. And so, you know, look, look at that. I can't pump it and show you at the same time because the fuel comes out, but that's where it comes out. So as you're, as you're like this testing it, look in there and see if fuel's coming out there. If it is, uh, then your pump is working just fine. Okay. So the other thing is that we have a, a little tutorial online that uh, for uh, check your accelerator pump before you even take the carburetor off, and that's how you do that your accelerator pump circuit. See if it's working. Is uh, you're look it's it's mounted on the car like that. Look inside and pump it a few times. See if you can see fuel pumping through there, through that main discharge. If it is, you're probably need to look elsewhere. Okay. All right. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Thank you.